Hello, everybody. God bless you. Good night. Top of the morning to you. Venice, how you doing today? Good night, Miss Chrissy. Dion. This is Cecilia. More grace to you, honey. God bless you. tonight for you you have the victory it's time to shout for joy oh yeah i'm free in spirit i'm no longer bound no more chains holding me oh yes lord and i know he watches me do you know tonight the key is knowing the key is knowing i know of a certainty that he's watching us that's why we sing and shout what we sing and shout why we do that we sing and we shout for victory. I want to thank God tonight. Amen. Because God has enabled us to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, which we could ask, imagine, or think. We're working out our, our soul salvation so that we may know that there, we, we, we are, if it's a certainty that we're going to heaven. Amen. We're working out our soul salvation. How many of you like Friday night? How many of you love, my God, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night? Do you know your Monday is blessed? Your Sunday is blessed? Your Wednesday is blessed? Your Tuesday is blessed? Your Friday is blessed? Your Saturday? Every day of your life is blessed. Amen. I pray you had a wonderful weekend in the Lord. I pray that you jump and shout in church for victory as we are we can we're able to go in the house of the lord my daughter sophia good night i miss you honey um this weekend thank god for you hallelujah so i sing because hallelujah so when you see me singing my song i'm good i'm i'm happy you know some folks when you're singing in the grocery store they said oh you're happy yes because only people that have joined their heart sing and shout amen 
uh, for victory. Tonight, I want to thank God for all of Father's children. Tonight, I want to thank God. I am here with my Pununus. Everybody know the Pastor Monique Ross. Glory to God and my grandkids. I want her to just come and say, hello, midnight cry it is. Glory to God. And uh, we were talking of a word today. Hello. <laughs> midnight cry it is. Sorry. Hello, midnight cry it is. As y'all can see, it's midnight. I look crazy. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. So we're talking today, and she was, as she was saying, you know, it's a, it's a, a apostasy time. It's a time of the great falling away. And I said to her, "Wow, how does that is it that God has given us the word, um, the word to make sure you make heaven your home? It's no time to get caught up, the, right, right, woman of God. Yes, it's no time. Come on and just hit it like it's hot." And come on, hit it like it hot. Drop it like it's hot. Glory to God. How it's time, it's time that we get it together because the falling away is here. The, the spirit of apostasy mm -hmm. is alive. Absolutely. Um, it is definitely a time um, where even at the beginning of the COVID crisis and everything that has My been God. going on, you know that the church and the heart of the church and the heart of the people of God were really being gauge to find out where we are are mm. we really walking are we really wait a minute talking? gauge to find out where we are where we are so so this season it's a time that god is is measuring us yes to to yes. see where you measure at yes uh oh yes. i preached a message i told them the other day yeah that's a time of measuring yeah where are we where how, where can where does he find us right right when when all of this started the lord told me and i and i think i told the ministry that you know, it was a time after this will be the great apostasy because many will lose their faith and many mm. will begin to um, doubt God and mm. wonder, does God still care? Does God mm. still exist? And that looming mentality in this time, though a time of judgment, is really wow. a time of mercy that mm. allows us to turn from where we've been going, how we've been operating, wow. and turn towards truth because the reality is the end of all things. I think it's in First Peter. It says the end of all things is at hand. Is at hand. It is it. here. Yes. It is near. It is mm -hmm. now. Now. And so we have to change our posture. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be village, village, vigilant. vigilant. We have mm -hmm. to be focused. We have to see God in a different way. And mm -hmm. no more of that self. Somebody, Jen, Venny said confirmation. Yeah. No mm -hmm. more of the self gratification. No more of the being in love with ourselves. Come on being now. Being in love with, with who? Ourselves. ourselves. Romans chapter one. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, we My can't God. get caught up with ourselves, get caught up in past hurt, past pain. Wait a minute. To the point that we are no longer able to see the future of what God is doing. Oh my. We're still stuck in the so, past. So we're speaking. So right now you're speaking to the church. Yes, absolutely. Because and that's what God this is a season to. that God is speaking to the church. Yes. And, and trying to call the church out of the church. Oh God. Right? Uh, say trying, that again. He's trying, trying to take the church, church out, out of the, the church. church. Yeah. Wow. Trying to find the remnant. Who Woo! is the remnant? Will they stand? I feel God. Will they live? Will they, you know, will they carry? One of the things about the Levites, when Moses brought the people across the Red Sea, when God had opened the Red Sea, Ooh, the, the, the people in Korah who were a part of the church, right? They were all part of this group of people. And they, turned, Marcy. and they turned away from God. Mm -hmm. And they began to preach their own type of gospel. And preach their, their own, own type of gospel and think that they, yeah. if they're right. Yeah. Wow. And while Moses was up and when he's coming back down, and when the Lord saw, he said, look at your people. Look mm. at what they are doing. Mm -hmm. And who was that? That was a church within the church. Mm. And what did God end up doing? Saying, whoever is on the Lord said, come with me. And the only people that remained as the remnant was the Levitical priesthood. Right. Those who would not stain their garments and who would be defenders of, of the, the gospel. Faith. Yes. My God, defenders of the faith. Yes. So it is in this time that we got to know who God is. Absolutely. It's not a matter of what this church saying or that what pastor yeah. saying. Yeah. It's what you saying. It's what uh, the, yeah. uh, 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 the spirit of the Lord is saying. Is saying yeah. to you, do you know him? Right. How can you defend the faith mm -hmm. if you don't know him? Right. 
And to know a means to know his heart, not to know what we think of him. And I think mm. a lot of or times what we can too, get. Right. A lot of times we're caught up in our own revelatory knowledge. My God, say that again. Well, what we believe God is, I believe God is saying this. And this Jesus. is what I think God wants. And it's what, and God wouldn't do that. We, we, we have no idea what God would God. do. We have no idea, you know, how God moves and how God does this. Decide, decides to move when he moves, mm. how he moves. My God. We just have to be sensitive to his presence and flow with God in whatever dimension and as, whatever methodology he chooses. As you said this evening, as you were making dinner, you said, um, you know, these 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 mindset and these spirits in the church yes. and they feel like it's okay yeah. and they're saying move God and we're saying yes God move and wipe us out even and as you were fix saying it. Lord if it's me move fix it. <laughs> fix it because rather to be fixed and get to heaven than to be not fixed and then end up where we've been doing this for a reason and the Bible says many will say I preach in your name I prophesy in your name and still will miss it and so we cannot, we cannot get self-consumed in this season, and we cannot lose sight of God's process, mm -hmm. of God's, of God's purpose, process, process of and God's purpose. purpose of God's testing. Mark, and his right? te wait because, a minute, that's a key. Yeah, that's the key word because yeah. too many of us don't understand that God is testing us mm -hmm. to see what we believe in this time. Yeah. yeah. And the dealings of God, because He's gonna deal with us. He's gonna deal with uh -oh. our minds. He's gonna deal with our hearts. Wait, wait, and wait. We gotta wait, be willing wait. to so let you're God saying, deal with us. Really? Yeah. How how is God gonna deal with us? He's gonna pull us to the side, wait and He will minute. say, first of all, He's gonna test us, right? Because after He has processed us, then to make sure, let me see if you have learned the lesson from this process. Let me see if you have caught the revelation from what I've been trying to train you wow. to give you. All this time. And then when he sits with us and he says, hey, you, you know, you have to let this go or, you know, you have to release this. That's the dealings of God. My and God. that's the choice now we have to make to say, well, Lord, that now that you've showed me God, this. God bless you, daughter of God, Monique Prescott. God bless you first time from Trinidad. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Deliverance, breakthrough. Everything is yours uh, all the way to you in Trinidad. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Come yes. on. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. So as I was saying, you know, when God deals with us and he ministers to us and he shows us and he starts to tell us about ourselves. Wait a minute. So you're, so you're saying God is telling us about ourselves? Yeah. First. No, no, no. Wait, what first? No. When, when you think you get a word, it's for me and not for you? First, it's for me. First, it's for you. First, it's for us. Because so because first God first that we receive is, is ours for us. <laughs> it's for us to be able because if we want to be <laughs> yes, delivered, we have to first be willing to be delivered. And so if I'm not willing say, to be say delivered, again. Say, well, say I'm again. Not, if I'm not willing to be delivered, yes. I'm not, I don't qualify to be a deliverer. Yes. And so I can't be a Wait deliverer. a minute. Wait a minute. If we are not first delivered, right. we are not then qualified, qualified to be a deliverer. We don't qualify. But we want to deliver everybody except ourselves. We don't qualify. Well, well, so so we're not qualified. We don't qualify. My God we qualify. Almighty, we're in trouble tonight. I mean, it, 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 it speaks to why Jesus, even Jesus, right? He is the Son of God. But he has to leave deity. He has to leave the heavenly kingdom he has to come down right he has to count it not robbery right which means to be he can't either. even think why did i have to leave heaven to come and do this he has to count it not robbery right to be with man right. likened into this frail state of man to right. become flesh mm -hmm. and then that's test one then he has to be obedient right he has to be obedient to a righteous requirement yes that he doesn't even need to do because he's never sinned so he doesn't need to be baptized but the Bible says, so that the righteous requirement might be fulfilled. Right. Not that he so did that, anything. Wait, wait, wait. So that the, the righteous, righteous requirement, requirement may be fulfilled. Right. So that is why we are born again. Yes. So that the righteous requirement right. may be fulfilled. Because That's why we are the righteousness of God yes. in Christ Jesus. Yes. So that the right, the, yeah. the right, the requirement may be fulfilled. Yeah. So when we think that, oh, I'm just going to church. Oh, I'm just, I'm a Baptist. Oh, I'm yeah. a Pentecostal. But that's oh. why it's important, Apostle, for us to seek God on what is the righteous requirement that you have, right? Because there is the foundational 
righteous requirements, mm -hmm. which is living by faith, you know, walking holy, sanctification. Yeah. Those are the foundations. Those are the principles. Those are principles. But then there are righteous requirements that are specific to our assignment, mm -hmm. right? It's like your Samson. Don't cut your hair. Don't right. drink this. Don't marry out of this. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Because for you, you need Welcome, this. Welcome, Sister Linda Harris. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. For you, you can't do certain things. And that's what right. you don't realize. That's why he says finding out for, from God or seeking him to find out what is the good, the acceptable, right? <laughs> And the no, perfect no, no, no. will wait, of God, God for wait, your life. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Now you're messing the whole flow. You're messing up the whole flow, pa, 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 Pastor Mo, Apostle. Let me say this. Because now, if we, many folks are so hungry to take on um, titles and, and not understanding the requirement, the requirement. that we must take on yes. is first, is first what? Righteous. Yeah. Yeah, it's a requirement. And that's the thing, it's a righteous requirement. It's a right, you have to be in right standing yes. with God. That's yes. a requirement. There has to be a requirement. And there has to be a requirement for each of us. Even some of us that don't want to go through the process of the test. Because the test is the requirement so you can walk in the purpose. And so if you don't meet the requirement of passing the test, then you don't qualify. Right? So it's, it's like your testimony, Apostle. You first had to die you first had to go through your own physical form of death yes so that that death that process yes that coming back yes. that experiencing that you know moment in your physical and spiritual life right would then be able to say now you qualify for a new rank right so right. that's and what then that's the, how i became qualified right. and then once to, this, to deliver those from death right uh -huh. and then when you're in this place then God says, okay, I need to now put you in another level. Right. But then there's another death. Mm -hmm. This other death is oh. going to be another qualification. And now this is another rank. So you mean so that's we, why we I have, have to, to die step. so many times? We have to step up and into go through rank. so many things. Yeah, we, but everyone. But it's just a matter of are we willing to go through it? No, but so when you're going through it, you, you can't. You need to not complain. You can't. You need to understand that it's a process. Yes. And the purpose to which you want God has... Uh, is taking you yes. you have to go to a righteous requirement requirement mm -hmm. oh this is good it's a requirement oh, family tonight is hot because even if you think about the the, the 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 bible says you know the kingdom of heaven is like an unto a man who's leaving good and when he leaves he takes talents right and he right. gives one to one right two to one five mm -hmm. to another and he, the, he waits a long time and he comes back and when he comes looking, he says unto them, you know, the, the five came and made ten. Mm -hmm. Right? The other one came right. back and did this, four. Right. And the other one and came back and he did nothing. And right. what did he say to the one that did nothing? He said, you slothful and evil, evil. servant. Wait a minute. Because I was, you didn't meet my requirement. My I, requirement when I gave this to you was for you to double it. You were supposed to increase on what I given you and go through the process of multiplic multiplication. But if you're going to be stagnant and not ready to grow, then I'm going to take what you have and have worshipped and have been in love with to the point that you buried it and thought it was all for you, <sighs> that you then missed the growth. Because oh the growth God. is in the expansion. And if we're not expanding, then we're not growing. We're not growing. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're saying tonight, you're saying tonight that when we take on, because you said something so powerful. So the righteous requirement, number one, mm -hmm. is to first understand that you're going to go have, go through a process. Yeah. It, it's a painful process. Yeah. Mm? yeah. You're going to cry. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to put your, head, your hand in your face and you're going to feel like, oh, how can I go through this? Yeah. And we, we, but if we know the process and the measurement to mm -hmm. that we, where we are and understand that, listen, he said, what, what did you say? What did you say? You were, we're stepping up in rank. Right. Because we got to go from cadet, right? Yes. To cadet something. And then from that to, you know, sergeant and then general. Right. But you don't just go from cadet 
to sergeant. Right. You got to make your way up the I ranks. Feel like, I feel like we're going to do a revival. I feel <laughs> a revival. I hear somebody said, yeah, I felt like revival coming. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's a growth process. It is. And some people are stunting their growth yes. process. And they think they so heavy. They fight for titles, but they have, they have not but yet. But you're fighting for a title, but you're missing the requirement. And the wow. requirement is going to tell you what is the ultimate place of your title, mm -mm. right? Because mm -mm. I could start out being a great singer, mm -hmm. right? But God wants me, I, I was saying something the other day that we've been made in the image and likeness of God, but we're customized specifically for what we are called to do. Wait a minute. Say so that again. Wait, no, God, no, no. You got to No, 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 no. I think you're missing it. <laughs> I, I really think you are messing the people mind up right now because now you're you we, we are pushing them into understanding their requirement and they the process to. and so now you're saying that what, what that's deep yeah because we've been made the bible says we've all been formed yes and made in the image of god yes but then yes tell me step by step with the then, test yes, yes but then each of us is customized it's like you have a gift to cast out demons right wherever you go demonic spirits they have to submit yeah customized so that you can hear wow. smell see demons Wait a another minute. person is not customized, customized the same for that. way so how did they another person to do the same thing customized in their hearing somebody else may be customized in their voice but the thing about it is if we don't learn how god has customized us then we won't know how to really attain the what we're calling and asking god for which is the title the title is indicative of what I'm customized to do. So if I'm a bottle of water, I've been customized to be a bottle of water. And not, I'm a, and, not, and not the juice. And not juice. And <laughs> if I'm a cell phone, I'm designed to make phone calls. So, so And if so I'm a groove, I'm assigned to sweep. And if I'm a mop, I'm assigned to mop. I can't do what I'm not customized to do. Wow. Wow. But if I'm trying to sweep and I'm a mop, I'm only going to mess things up. Wow. Somebody said you're gifting as well. Yes, your gifting it's is part of your customization. Customization. Yep. Yep. So you can't, you're customized, as you were saying to, mm -hmm. for me, uh, as God customized me, as you grow mm -hmm. up and see me casting out yeah. demons. And that's the speciality that right. it, it's like anybody come in the house is like, they, they right, automatically right. getting deliverance. And that's the name, that's the, 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 the ministry customized, yes. customization. Right. So now you're saying now that each individual tonight and those that will be watching, mm -hmm. those that believe that they are called for something, right, mm -hmm, has to understand Seek I God must be for, customized. Seek God for what, 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 what am I customized for? to do? And My not only that, God but Almighty, but this a, is good. Along with being formed in His image and customized, and I can use it for example. Boy, okay. somebody you can't sleep tonight. This is good. You know you come up and you recognize I have this gift to see spirits, to see demons, to be raised from the dead, to right. deal with these demonic spirits, to work the signs and the wonders and the miracles. Right. But you didn't stay there mm. because though we're customized for one thing, mm -hmm. we are also daily and weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever the progression God chooses mm -hmm. are being upgraded. Uh huh. And that's the, that's where the tests come in because right. I got a test. Okay. In seeing demons, have you been faithful? In, in praying for people, have you been faithful? Mm. In casting out the demons, have you been faithful? Mm. And in putting me first, did you put me first? In doing this, did you meet all the requirements of this place My that God. I birthed you to? My God. Now, once you've maxed out this level, now I'm ready to upgrade you. It's like I, having an iPhone. You can have an iPhone or any kind of smartphone upgraded. that you may have. Every season, your phone is upgraded. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of upgrading is that you don't do the same thing. It doesn't do the same things. So it does the same things, but it does other things that it didn't do before. Better. So every upgrade, so your life, for example. No, so you're in the body of Christ. You must be upgraded. You got to be upgraded. You got to go through the upgrade. And if you're not being upgraded, then you're stunted. You're stunted. And that's a problem. Wow. So you went from casting out demons, praying for people, going around doing that. To then ministry, mm -hmm. right? right? So it's there, then you know, prophetess, and then from prophetess, pa pastor, then pastor, prophetess, and prophetess, apostle, because each level 
is a different upgrade. Mm -hmm. And to every upgrade, the gifts expand. Mm -hmm. The knowledge pa expands. Pastor Lloyd said, I'm customized to preach the gospel of grace. Come yes. on. Yes. And some people are customized to sing. I mean, we wish we could all be singers, but unfortunately we're not. <laughs> because some people are just customized with voices that sound like angels. Somebody said, I'm customized to, 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 you know, to uh, be in, uh, agree in our obedience. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You, what are you customized there are, to? There are some things that, I mean, if you think about it, some people are just good at some stuff that you'd be like, oh my gosh, you're so good at it because that's their customization. Wow. God formed them like him, but gave them these specific things. So one person said, customize for fivefold ministry. Yes. 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 But in the customization, you have to ask God, now what, um, what, is, what am I responsible for? Right. Where right, do I need to be developed, developed in order it, that, right. to max out this place that you created? Because he doesn't want us to stay there. It's like David, right? David was born to be... Boy, and, wait, that's what we're going to pray for tonight. And customized as a worshiper, right? Skilled in the heart. Right. When he was a young child. Mm -hmm. But he was upgraded to be one of the greatest kings and warriors that ever lived. Mm. Joseph customized to be a dreamer. Customized right? as a dreamer. But then he mm. ends up being what? An interpreter? Right. And a governor. Right. So you customize and you start it as one thing, but the more test, the more God grooms you and grows you, you find that you start to elevate, but you have to go through the test. You right. So to. so to to be to be customized as a, as a fivefold ministry. Oh, that's uh, a whole lot gifting. That's a first of all, you gotta go through the test of the evangelist. You gotta go Every through the test one. of the of the of the pastor mm -hmm. and you gotta go to the test for the, the teacher yeah. and you gotta go to the test um for the the prophet mm -hmm. and you gotta go to the test of the of the apostle yeah. my god and and some people just in just start out in church four years ago and then they reach the they reach the five already yeah and that's not true and that is not true no. because the, because have, for each season it's not just it's not your gift wow. right it's not your gift the gift she, is Monique how, said, I'm customized to prophesy. Yeah, it, I tell you. The gift come is, on, give us a word tonight. <laughs> the gift the gift is beautiful and the build is good. Like you have things that are built wonderfully. Mm -hmm. But if you don't test them, they may create more damage. More damage. Right. So more harm than good. Yeah, so a car can go up, go through up to 250 test crashes mm -hmm. with a test dummy mm -hmm. inside. To see how does the what kind of damage are you doing to the dummy? Right. Because if you're doing it to the dummy, you can't do it to my people. Right. So let me test you first so that when I send you out, you don't create more harm than good. So no matter how anointed we think we are, mm -mm. if we don't get tested, then we provide more damage. Mm. Because my the God. testing is what qualifies us to say you are good to be used on somebody else. Mm -mm. But you're not good to be used on anybody else if I can't first validate and prove that, that you qualify. Qualified by, from going through the test. Yeah, I mean, facial products, cars. I mean, mm. everything we buy is tested before it is used. My God. Only in church. Mm -hmm. We just People don't get, want to get, get tested. Come on now. Come on, Only preacher. in church. Only Come in on. church. Come on, preacher. But cars are tested Buses are tested, vacuums are tested. I mean, everything you buy everything goes to a test, test before it goes on the market. The only, oh only a simple thing, a baby's car seat. Let's see if it's going to kill the baby. Baby, right. Has to be tested. We want to be responsible for prophesying. Healing, My God. Laying hands on people who are God's children, but don't want to go through the test My to God. qualify us. To ensure that God can trust the product. Mm -mm. We are the product. Mm -mm. Can he trust the product? Wow. My God. My, I feel God upon in the house. Yeah. Wow. Have you been tr tested and, 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 and have your product been tested? Yeah. Because we want to do. I've never seen it like this. It's only in the house of God. Yeah. I've seen nobody wants to go through the test. Nobody wants to go through, um, uh, but everybody wants to be the product. And it don't work like that. Mm -hmm. So everything and everything yes. we do we give up mm -hmm. we all can't do what pastor is That's doing right. we we all have to ask god what is what are we customized for right. or what did he customize us for That's right. and in asking god that question yes it is important to then 
when he tells you or when he gives you a glimpse <laughs> somebody what, say apostle is our mommy <laughs> <laughs> when <laughs> when he gives you a glimpse of that which he has called you to do then your next follow-up question to god is well god what is the standard you want me to reach mm -hmm. Because then for some me, people, Pastor, they just they, you just they're not they're not qualified yet, you know. Right. You are trying to customize them, mm -hmm. and so you said, okay, you are. I see the pastoral on you. You're trying and to actually more than customize them. What you're trying to, to do is them. cause them is to cultivate them uh -huh. into what he's brought them to. Right. Because a lot of people don't know the the quality of what's inside, and that's why people need leadership. Right. Because in order for the for you to recognize, oh my God, I'm a fruit tree. Somebody's got to groom you. Janessa, go to the function in our junction. I can't. <laughs> You're too much. It's go ahead. Truth. You know what I'm saying? It's a true. A farmer, a tree is there, but the farmer has to know if it's a vine, it's going to need help. Yes. So I need to make sure I wrap it on something and give it enough room. Right. If it's an apple tree, I know it's going to take a year before it can, can bloom. Bloom, right. If it's an olive tree, I know it could take up to four years. My God. So I know I can't rush it. I got to treat it the right way. So you need somebody to say, okay, this is what you are. And this is the kind of molding that's necessary to birth what God's put inside of inside you. Of you. But no, moments. but the minute they the minute you said, I see the spirit of the pastor in you, everybody now start calling them pastor and everybody now put them up and now they think that they are pastors. Yeah, that's that's it's dangerous. You gotta wait to be groomed. Gro grooming is uh Wow. Grooming is, is Go so... Spider Man, Spider Man is jumping up. <laughs> grooming grooming is necessary but that's no, why the, that's why wow. and then there's a scripture that talks about when jesus goes and he sees the tree and he says give me some fruit and the, it had no fruit and he said to the farmer the husband man he said he said cut it down cut and he said down. no no give me one more year with it right let me dig it up and try and it try again. it again and if you come back next year and you find that there's no fruit then we can cut it down right that's why you need the vine dresser right because the vine dresser causes the tree mm -hmm. to become cultivated and rich and make sure the soil around the root of the tree is rich enough for production right Mm -hmm. And so that's why leadership is necessary because leadership makes sure the ground is fertilized. Right. And so it's getting enough water because mm -hmm. there's a point in the tree's life. It can't water itself. No, it can't fertilize itself. It needs the vine dresser. Right. And, and to some cut it and to cut it and groom it. Yeah. Yes. And so my God, my God, my God, the word is great tonight. The word is fertile. The word is truth. How many of you know that it's the, it, this hour that we're living in? God is, is testing. Mm -hmm. Is testing the church. Yeah. Is testing you where you at. Where is your faith? Who do you know him as? Yes. Yeah. And, and because it is a time of apostasy, um, there will be a great falling away because yeah. many folks don't know who God is and they will not pass the test. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says in the last days, strong, seducing spirits will come and deceive the very elect if it be at all possible. That's what the Bible says. And so if, if we are caught up in being in love and being, you know, enamored by our own anointing, um mm. we were, were talking so, about that this evening yeah we're so we're so in love with our gifts mm -mm. and we think we're so anointed that nobody else is as anointed as us then we miss it miss because there's no true humility right and, be, and that's because we have not gone through the process yep wow yep. and the season of covid the season of the racial wow. things that have been going on is the moment where god is saying where will i find the church Will I find them on their knees? And and as one person said, hold that thought, Pastor, mm -hmm. um, find them on their knees. One person said that um, cultivate uh, um, uh, premature, premature. Many persons burn out due to premature start up. Yeah. But they didn't start. They really didn't even start up. No. Because you need the grace. And that the great you gain, you, you learn the grace in the process. 
My God. That's why it's all great grace and greater grace. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that's why, so, I mean, when you think about college and all that, preparing you, how to study, how to deal with big projects, how to pass exams, how to work under pressure, how to present before people, all the things you have to deal with in the real world. Mm -hmm. Because when God throws you out, the devil wants to kill you. Right. So how else to get you tested but test you in the protected place? Mm. And that's where we don't want to be tested by the hand of leadership mm -hmm. and by our brothers. And, and people will get upset at this one. They feel like, my oh, God. why did my brother, why my sister in the church? I'm in the church. They're supposed to love me. They're supposed to do this. Mm. No, they're supposed to test you. Right. It's they're called, supposed to it, test you. It's called friendly fire. <laughs> right? If you go to boot camp or something, it's the two teams. We're right. in the same army. Right. You're in the blue team. I'm in the green team. team. Right. And we both get guns and we both have to gun down each other. But this is how we're being trained in battle. My God. But guess Real what life the... combat situation that looks like real life, but we won't die. Right. Because it's not supposed to kill us. Kill it's us. supposed to train us. Train us. Because if we don't get trained here, outside, the devil's trying to kill us. Right. Inside, God is trying to train, train us. us. So why is it then, Pastor, that that the minute they're going through the test, they leave the church. They can't. I can't stand that one. I can't work with them. I can't. Mm -mm, I, I, um, I, I can't. I can't. Mm -mm, I can't. I can't. I can't deal with that. No. And they get f frustrated and leave the church mm -hmm. when they leave the process. Mm -hmm. But it's they a lack leave of the comeback training. Yes, it's a lack of an understanding of. Again, we go back to wow. what is the righteous requirement from you. Is wow. it that God is saying, for you, you've got a perfect love. Right. For you, you've got a perfect patience. Abraham had to per be the father of faith, which means he had to perfect faith. Right. Before he could produce faith. Wow. Whoa, hold it. Perfect faith to produce faith. Pastor Cecile said in the church is where we have to be tested for the external Absolutely. Ones. Absolutely. Yep. Because the devil is out there to kill, steal, and destroy. Yep. 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 So... Yep. Perfect faith. Yeah. Go ahead. Abraham, he's a father of faith. The Bible right. said, he tells him, you shall be the father of faith. Mm -hmm. But in order to be the father of faith, you have to perfect, perfect faith. Perfect your faith. Because mm -hmm. you're going to be the producer. Of the faith. Of, of people faith. of faith. Right. For generations to, to come. come. Mm -hmm. That anybody who gets born again shall be your seed. Your seed, right. And that's why we become, the, uh, the, the, he become the father of our faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Anyone that believed we become the, the, the children of Abraham, the father of faith. Right. But he could not be that until 25 years of testing of right. his faith. Right. And then when he thought he made it, because now I have Isaac. Right. Now I see the promise. I think I made it. Then the Lord says, one more test. Because <laughs> now that you perfect faith and you're, you're, you're perfecting this gift, mm -hmm. do you love the gift more than me? Right. And a lot of people in the body of Christ, they would... They would step on anybody. They would do all kind of stuff, hurt who they can hurt. They don't care about others, uh, um, their brothers and sisters, uh, uh, um, pastors and, and other leaders. They just so hungry and eager and, and, and not, and not, and not, and, and to get to where they want to mm -hmm. when they're in error. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing, but that's. What that shows to God is wow. you are more in love with yourself My God. than with God. That's why he said My to Abraham, God. he says, Abraham, bring me your son. Right. Your beloved son. son. Mm -hmm. The son you love. I think he said it like three times. Right. Because he wanted to say, I'm take, I want you to bring up something to me that is your only sign of promise. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the only evidence that the prophecy is coming to pass. To pass yes. And I want to know, do you love the prophecy? Mm -hmm. I'm more, and do you I'm, love the gifts? Right, more, more than, than you me. love me. My God. And But Abraham got it. Because what did Abraham say? He said, come with me. Mm -hmm. So that I and the lad can go Kill up on to, to worship. To worship. Mm -hmm. And he had so much faith. That he believed that, okay, if I give you my son and you kill him today, you will give me another one. Perfected faith. Perfected. And he I'll would kill give it. him anything else. So his, yeah. his heart then belongs to God. And God said Because God says, no, and now I, I see, know, now I know, know that there is nothing, nothing you will, you will hold from, from me. me. Yep. My God. Mm -hmm. And when we realize that being in order to be, to be, uh, called and to be, to be, um, um, 
sent by God and to be validated by God, not man. Yeah. Because until God uh, perfects you, you are not validated. Right. Because you have to go through the process. Right. And so when we look at that, listen, family, wow, it's time, it's time to get it together. Yeah. Why? Because we're, we're going through a test through this time. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's seeing who's got faith yeah. on who don't. Yeah. Is it what I can give you? Why you love me? Right. Is it because, oh, I'm in ministry and it, you, the ministry that we're in and the gift that we think we so have is so far greater than who God is. But that's why, Apostle, even in this time, even during COVID and the time being locked away, you really began to see those who have really, who don't do this for people. Right. Who don't do this for show, whose love is beyond and even in a lockdown state have been able to grow mm, even in a lockdown time so even the time that was meant to bring depression wow. and fear and all and anxiety those who have truly a heart of god found themselves growing more because it wasn't about going to church right it wasn't it wasn't about, about being around the people it wasn't right. about being hands laid on it wasn't about anybody praying for you Mm -hmm. It was all about being in the presence of God. Right. And the value of people's relationship with God saw an increase in the time of COVID. Why? Because it was always about God. My God. And because churches have been it was down. always yeah, about, about God. God. Yeah. Yes, but you know what, Pastor Mo? There's so many people doesn't believe that it's all about God. When we lose sight of that, mm -hmm. then we lose sight of the vision of God. And then the question we have to ask is, then whose vision are we building? My God. Wow. If we lose sight that it's all about God, then the question remains, whose vision are we building? My God. Because we're all doing this to be a part of his uh, overall vision. But it's his vision? Yeah. <laughs> we're not doing anything on our own. We're not getting the... the, the um, we weren't called the, the the author of salvation. Right, he did. He is. That's it. And so he said, "We are his workmanship." Yes, yes. And that's why when he come and he give you one uh, a gift, and he and he give you five talent, and you bury yours, and he give you one, and and you multiply, and you multiply your bare fruits, and and you bring in you, and he come and he's pleased. Then he multiply and give you he more. Give you more. Yep. Then you get title and rank. My Lord, people want title, but wow. they don't have no spiritual ranking. Jesus, you don't want title with no rank. Wow, you want you want to be titled. Wow, and then you want to have rank in the spirit because rank in the spirit says demons know your name. Come on, title now, means man. the world know your name. That's cute, but I don't want. No, I don't say want that again. No say demons that again. Don't know my name. Oh my God, that's why he right? said, "Don't rejoice that you cast out demons. Right, rejoice that your name is written, is written in yes. the Lamb's book of life. You don't life. need. You don't need." people to know your name that's that's just cute that's good to put on paper mm. but god and demons that's why the demons said to the sons of skiva yes jesus i know uh-huh i know that rank i know that rank paul oh, I, I know i know that rank too mm -hmm. now who 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 are you because you got rank you got a title but i don't i don't recognize your rank in the spirit you have no power here so what what purpose is it of fighting or position in the earth realm and have no dominion in the spirit when we've been called not to a title but to a dominion okay pastor so somebody kish kishane said pastor pray for me and ask the lord to bless me in, in multiple, multiple ways. ways what would you say to that pastor well the lord's going to bless you in multiple ways but first we got to ask ourselves the question you, you really got to narrow that down and what way do you are you seeking God to bless you? Hold on to this one too. Some people are, uh, 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 and some people is building their pastor and apostles' vision. And 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 there is a there is an era mm. in the church world where right where you have pastors that are more concerned with their agenda than on cultivating the souls, <laughs> and. We push people to push our agenda, push the, the church's vision, the church's, but then the people find themselves dying. And so we can't, we, anywhere you go to a church is one of the things that you have to first make sure is, 
will I grow here? Not only can I be used here because everybody want to be used. I don't know right. why. Because you don't want to be used anywhere else except for in church. But you don't want to be sun. You just want to be used. That's a problem. But we want to be used so bad that we forget that being used without being cultivated is a mishap. Fix this stuff, Pastor. Okay, so, so you understand? being used. Yeah, being mm-hmm. used without being cultivated is a mishap. It's a problem. It's a problem. Mm-hmm. So whenever God sends us to a house, we are partakers of the vision of mm-hmm. the house. Mm-hmm. But we're not just pushing that agenda without God saying, well, now where do you need to grow? Right. And so while, because in building the vision of the house, mm-hmm. you are also building God's vision, God's vision in, you in you. And right. God's ministry and in gifts you. assignment that is in you. And that's why you got to find a house that is complementary to the vision of God in you Mm -hmm. that is tied to the vision in that leader because that leader's life is connected to yours why God would send you. Mm -hmm. So that they already are five steps ahead, 10 steps ahead, two years ahead, 10 years ahead, and they've walked the path you've walked. Okay, so you're speaking to Monique. Some people is building their pastor and apostle vision. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, And so if you don't build, Paul said, if you don't build, another man how can you build yours Mm -hmm. so it's building when god sees how you god told me years ago he said remember when we're living at 224 Mm -hmm. he says um as you take care of this man's house Mm -hmm. i'm gonna give you your own yeah to take care of yeah and so when you take care of what god has given to when I when when you take care of what God has given to 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 me, mm-hmm. then God's gonna give you yours to take care of, right. and then somebody else is there is gonna build that person. You're gonna see and build them up, and then they're gonna take care of what right. God, and then they become one whole big happy family. Because it, so, it, it's almost like um, it's almost like if we should think about the thought of apprent apprenticeship, apprenticeship, like yes, a, a, somebody's mm-hmm. apprentice, mm-hmm. right. I'm perfected when I'm able to learn the craft from you. Right. Say that again. So that's I, how I can, you, you're I perfected. Can, I can be a good violin pr- player by ear, mm-hmm. but if I come together and I join myself to a master violinist mm-hmm. who is in an orchestra, that's only going to perfect my gift. So a lot of you know skilled players and gifts and artists and and even football players and basketball players they are friends or they have mentors in their art or right. in their craft but because to tie to an apprentice uh, to someone who is greater than you means that they are going to be able to sharpen what right. you have and then also give you information that you would not have known on your own but but, but it's also one has to one learn from their their teacher yeah their apprentice is uh, going to learn yeah. right and so if you're going to learn ballet you the teacher going to teach you mm-hmm. and if you're going to learn to be a doctor the doctor they they, they they you're going they're going to send it to, to medical school to learn from the surgeon and the doctors mm-hmm. that so you can become perfected right so but it's like going to college right when you go you do an internship the internship right. is all about you learning from the masters right, right. The people who have done it before you the doctors you're going to be a nurse you do an internship, you go into the hospital, you work with, alongside the nurses because that's going to teach you how to be the best. When you come out, you're going to have a job already. Right. Because now you've trained long enough that you can. So there is there is the, the benefit of training with someone that has already gone the path before you. So someone said, uh, um, Kishin said, to not write now. down, mm-hmm. I'm a student seeking employment. I pray. <laughs> I pray and I think I need someone else's prayer upon me. Okay. We okay. can agree with you in prayer for that. Yeah. It is definitely the season where God is releasing. Um, I know people feel like COVID has messed everything up, but I don't believe so. I no. believe God is going to use this time. Nothing yeah. takes God off course. No, nor he by turns, surprise. Or nor by surprise, mm-hmm. right? The Bible says all things work together for the good of them. Love the Lord, mm-hmm. right? Called according to his purpose. So whatever God's plan is on track, and I feel like this is a time where new doors are going to be open yes. that would not have previously been open because of inflammation and all things that were going on. Now, right. our land is in a recession. Things are almost like at a reset point. Mm-hmm. So we know that whatever you 
you need, God is going to open that for you. You now just have to make sure that whatever God's instruction is for you, you step out and jump and do and jump into it right away and not waste any time, whatever God gives you and make sure you have your vision book. Um, Kashani, that as God is releasing things onto you, and even as you're in prayer, and God is releasing things and releasing dreams, write them down mm -hmm. so that as God can give you the vi as He gives you the vision for his, your life, mm -hmm. you can have a plan. The Bible mm -hmm. says, write the vision and make it plain. Make it plain, because then help comes when we have a vision. Right. Provision comes for the vision. Right. Right. So we'll pray for you as well, but just so you have some points for yourself. Mm. And so Lisa said, we need to have clear vision. Now, Pastor Selma first said, Timothy 3, 6, Paul was told not to ordain or promote a novice because being puffed up, they will trample on others to get where they want to go in ministry and have no remorse about it. It must be about. Mm -hmm. And so that is the word of God. It must be about building. It must be about God. Yes, that's right. That's right. Amen. So, wow. That is amazing. Glory to God. Glory be to God. So, and Lisa said, in relation to the church, we need to have a clear vision of what the church is. We need to see what it is, what is the practice of the church. And we need to give ourselves to the Lord for the building up of the ministry. Mm -hmm. And that is a fact. So many people who come and the, the minute they come in, they want to be like, okay, I'm here because I have a gift. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that? Repeat what you just said. Uh, many people would say they come to the church mm -hmm. and, but then they come, they said, but I have a gift. Mm -hmm. And so they expect that the gift they come with, you need to develop it. You need to start using them above your other leaders that's there. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that? Well, the thing about it is, if you have a gift, then God will reveal it. That's the reality. The Bible says your gift and your calling will make room for you and put you before great men. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a gift, you don't have to showcase that. Humility and submission will reveal it. Mm -hmm. So you'll never have to put a banner up and say, I have a gift and I want to be used. Right. Because God will elevate you and no one can stop that. Right. Elevation doesn't come from the north, the south, the east, and the west. But it from comes God. from above. Yes. And so humility, because before our gift, God first has to judge our heart and our humility. Right. And so being gifted without humility and being gifted without the fruits of the spirit is, is of none effect. Right. Because being gifted alone is still damaging if the gift is not submitted under the power of the Holy Ghost. Correct. And so if we're gifted, but we are not practicing, because maturity is not because I'm gifted. Right. Maturity is how perfect I walk in the fruits of the, the Spirit. spirit. The right. fruits of the Spirit determine my Wait perfection, a minute. not Wait my Wait a gift. minute. Come on. Wait a minute. So that's why the Lord said to me a couple of days ago, maybe about a week or two, he said, um, you when i was people said i'm not perfect mm -hmm. and i can't be perfect and so it used to like mm, something is wrong with that and then the holy spirit said to me perfection is one day at a time mm -hmm. because people looking at perfection as and, and i was looking at uh, my 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 not just today but like i'm looking at a long term mm -hmm. uh long term faith long-term Christianity. Mm -hmm. He said, no, you can't look at that because we only live one day at a time mm -hmm. because tomorrow is not promised to no man. So today you must be perfect. Mm -hmm. So as you were saying, perfection is walking by faith in the, the spirit, the spirit uh, in the fruits mm -hmm. of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So every day we are perfected as we walk and we live by the fruits of the spirit. And I believe it's in I believe it's in Romans. I, I believe it's Lord in Romans. God. In, I think in, I think it may be in Romans eleven. It's somewhere there where the Bible says. He has perfected forever them that are being made holy. Mm -hmm. So as long as I am being made holy, and being made holy means I'm consistently in submission mm -hmm. to the word of God. Because yes. it is his word that makes me holy, right? Mm -hmm. It is his word. The Bible says, how shall a young man cleanse his ways except by taking heed to, to the, the word, word of, of God? God. Mm -hmm. So every time I take heed to the word of God, I am being made holy. Whole. Right. I'm being made, made clean. Uh -huh. And so 
as I'm submitting to the word of God, I am being perfected. Right. For he has perfected them forever for, right. who are being, being made, made holy. holy. Mm -hmm. So as long as I'm being made holy, then I am walking in perfection because the, the Greek and the Hebrew of the word perfection, when you see it in the Bible, is not in the, the definition like we see it in our Webster's Webster dictionary, dictionary. Mm -hmm. that means maturity okay, right so when it mature. says that you're you're being perfect or yeah. you know taking on this mind of perfection it really talks about taking on a mind of maturity much, right and so going on to maturity i have to walk towards maturity i can't walk backwards and say i can never do it because then i'm rejecting maturity but I have to be willing and that to is say, perfection. Right. And perfection says, I want to be made My, perfect. perfect. So cut me if you need to. Right. Cleanse me if you need to. Right. Correct me if you need to. Yes. And so the Bible says no chastening in the moment. Right. Anybody's going to like that. But chastening pretty much perfects us. He's perfected forever them who are being made. And if you're being made that's that customization and right. that upgrade. You're being made. You're being upgraded. You're being cut away. The Bible says it's, it's not a brand that is plucked out of the fire. Right. If you're being made, you're being made. You're being cut away. Then by automation, by your mind of walking in the state of perfection, mm -hmm. of being made holy, put you in a place of maturity because it's a mature mindset mm -hmm. that is okay with the chastening of God. Mm -hmm. An immature mindset says, why me? Why I got to go through everything? Why God is always testing me? That's an immature mindset. Right. But a mature mindset says, God, whatever you need to do to make do me right, I'm willing to submit. Yes. Be, I'm, what am I saying? I want to be made holy. Yes. I want to walk in perfection. perfection. Today, I've been perfect before God. Yes. Glory be to God. One person said, Pastor, um, um, what about Isaiah and what she said, Isaiah and use Isaiah. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Is that Isaiah and Uzziah when uh, uh, Isaiah saw the Lord after Uzziah me. died? No. I, uh, where, where did she say that again? Um. Uh, what about okay what about the count of isaiah and king uzziah please explain what 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 are you so asking? isaiah so I, isaiah. isaiah chapter six i don't mm -hmm. know if that's what that you're was referring, referring to, to where the scripture says uh in the king that in the year that <laughs> king uzziah died isaiah saw the lord mm -hmm. well you got to understand two things about the text one you got to go all the way back to the book i think it's on first chronicles 25 if i'm not mistaken please don't quote me on that i'm I, i'm sure i'm right but i'm not 100 percent sure I believe it's in First Chronicles 25. First Chronicles 25. Uzziah was a powerful man. Right. He was a military man. Yeah. And he was a man that was going out and doing the works of God, perfect before God. Right. The Bible uses that a lot in the Old Testament, that right. they were walking in perfection, perfection. before him. Yes. Meaning they were obedient to God. Correct. And so he was to go to battle. And before he went, he was to wait for the priest. Right. To come into the house mm -hmm. and to make the sacrifice in order to give them the right to go into battle. He became impatient and because he was powerful right. and because he had a gift and because he was winning wars, he thought, I can go into the temple and I'll make the sacrifice mm -hmm. because they're taking too long to come and do their job. Right. He goes into the temple and he goes in and he lights the incense and he makes the makes fire, fire. Mm -hmm. before the presence of God. Right. And the presence of the Lord came down and said to Uzziah, you have touched something that you, you should, should not, not have, have touched. You, you are not qualified. qualified. This is not your job. Mm -hmm. You're overstepping your boundary by doing this. Right. And the Bible says, he says unto Uzziah, you can never, he said, from today on, I curse thee. And you right. can never give me glory again. Again. Mm -hmm. So here is Isaiah walking with a king, king yeah, that can was, never give no, God glory. glory. Mm -hmm. So he, Uzziah is the blockage to, to Isaiah, Isaiah seeing God's glory. Right. So that is why when King Uzziah died, mm -hmm. which when he died, the curse died of mm -hmm. giving God glory. Mm -hmm. Isaiah right. saw, saw the, the Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we got to be careful who we walk with. Right. Because we because don't know who has... Seen. Right. Who who is qualified to see God in a certain way? And so until you that because it was Isaiah's time to walk in his prophetic mantle, he could not be blocked anymore by Uzziah. Because it was time for the mantle of Isaiah right. to be put on him. And mm -hmm. that's why it says in the year, in the moment Uzziah, Uzziah died, died the veil had rented. Moved. Right. 
and now Isaiah could see, see God, God for himself. And he was high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. Right, his and presence. That, was... Right, and that train is powerful because every time a king would go in or they would go into war, into right. a territory, they would, in order to show that we take over this territory, they would take the train of the, the previous king, cut it, cut, and attach I... it to their train. Right. So to say his train filled the temple, it spoke of how much wars and victories God that has was won. won. Mm -hmm. By the presence of God, not right. by Uzziah, by right. God himself. And that's why after Uzziah, Isaiah saw um, the Lord, he said, oh, my God, woe, woe is, is me. me. Because I now I am undone. Done, right. I'm a mess. I didn't even realize I was a mess because I was around somebody who couldn't show me my mess right. because they were in a mess themselves. Correct. And so now I can see the Lord and he says, and I saw the cherubim. Right. And they came with a live coat and they placed Put it on upon my, my lips. lips. Yes. And I said, whoa, I'm a man undone living with the unclean the lips, lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Mm -hmm. Mine eyes have seen the but king. But mine eyes have, have seen, seen the king. The for the Lord, first the host, time. My God. For the first time, I have now been separated from the thing that has stopped me from seeing, seeing God. God. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to be careful who we connect to. Right. And who we call spiritual fathers and that, spiritual mothers hello. who are blocked our vision, vision who are blocking our mantles who are blocking our giftings because they can't not that they're not using us but they don't know how to cultivate us right because it's not the using that's the problem because well, many people cultivate. can use you yes. but not everybody will feed, feed and pour into you and cultivate, cultivate you, you that's the, two different things the way god yes. designs for yes. you to be cultivated because of the gift that he put in you that's right because it's not about being used. And I right. think this is where we've been mistaught. Yes. Oh, you got to be used by God. Use, use. And no. You're, you're called to Am be I used not, by God. <laughs> if you're not trained, you are an assassin. <laughs> and even assassins are trained. Right. You're just like a murderer. Right. Because you don't even know how to use the weapons that you have. A trained assassin knows how to fire his weapon. Right. Somebody in the army, the first thing they train you to do is how to use your weapon. That's right. That's right. So you can be trained and not reckless in using your weapon. Your weapon. Mm -hmm. So it's not about the using. The mm -hmm. using should be the last thing you want. Mm -hmm. The last thing you should ever desire from a leader is to be used. But the first but, thing you should desire from a leader is how can I submit? I remember serve, when submit I first, and serve. <laughs> years ago, remember the dream that I had and I told you when mm -hmm. I first first came back home. Remember, and yeah. I had saw myself and I was on this bus. Right. And I was on the bus with Apostle. And I was, she was sitting in the back of the bus and I was at her feet and I was just sitting there at her feet. And I told her, I said, I had this dream and I was just sitting at your feet. And then I think the prophet called right at like prophet, remember prophet green? Prophet green. He called like, I don't know, maybe a day or two later, later. something mm -hmm. like that. And he was like, if you can submit Mix to your, to your mother, to your mother, to mm -hmm. your leader, yes. then God says, anything you, you want, want to do, you can be able to do it. Yes. First thing the Lord told me when I came Submit. back and gave my life to the Lord. Yep. Mm -hmm. Submit. And I saw myself on my knees at her feet. Yeah. So being not used, let's not, not get it used. twisted. Right. Being cultivated and trained so that you are the best in your field. My God. So that when you go out for God to, right, display the glory, right, present you to the world, not use you, present you. You are ready to be presented. Apostle. Uh, this person said I've seen. Thank you. The other night I have a dream. So I want to share it with you. I don't know what it was trying to tell me. I don't know what it was trying to tell me. Oh, thanks. Lord Jesus. I don't know what it was trying to tell me. What there were many boats. A lot of in, the in the sea, different, different races. races. You're an evangelist, honey. With different races. What is it? With different races of people, only one straight road with a one container on it, parting the sea into two. Mm -hmm. I was in the middle of the road with an old schoolmate saying, This is what God wants us to do is to come together and live as one. But then there came a tsunami of dirty water behind me. Then I took cover into a container in the road and I was crying, saying, I'm afraid. What was about to happen and while i was laying on the floor in the container the water passed over the container just thinking i would share okay wow 
Well, the C represents the nation, right? As the C represents the culmination of the nation, both represents ministry. So there is, you know, the, the coming together of the nation, which is what we're in right now, right now. the race of different people um, with one container in the sea, parting it into two, right? And the Bible talks about narrow being the, the way, way onto the onto life and broad being the, you understand, the way that leads onto the death destruction. and onto destruction. Mm -hmm. You said you were in the middle of the road, an old school mate saying, um, this is what, what God wants us to come to get, but then there came a tsunami. A so challenge. Mm -hmm. you're, you were saying to an old schoolmate, which probably some stuff that Flesh. you need to cut away from, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. some old things that you need it's to a, divide away from, which is why when you of. said that, mm -hmm. the tsunami came to wash away the things that are not supposed to be. Yeah, um, but yeah. the beauty of it is that you hid in this container, which is really more like a secret place, right? And as you were laying there, the water flew over and mm -hmm. it passed. But it's important for you that God is saying you are at a crossroad now. She needs to submit and, and is, serve. There is a place in your life now that you have to make this decision. Do mm -hmm. I go with what I'm accustomed, which is the old schoolmate, the things I know? Or do I go in the direction that God is leading me to? And do I get coverage? Because being covered is because of the decision. Mm -hmm. So whatever decision you make is going to determine how covered or how exposed you are mm -hmm. in this season. And it's tr a struggle she'll face. Yeah. The yeah. trial she'll face because she uh, did not submit. Yeah. And because serve. what was coming was coming. not clean. Clean, right? no. You said the water was dirty water. It was a tsunami. So it was destructive mm -hmm. and it was contaminated. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whatever is coming or whatever, you understand, is going on, it's designed to reveal so to, yes and to get her away from what she's the decision what that was in her heart yeah yeah wow my god tonight tonight praise god tonight my lord this is good amen i thank god tonight for every one of you as we come now glory to god do i thank god many of you have received clarity and many of you have received clarity. Many of you have received um, insight. Many of you understand now that is the time we need to seek to be mature, to be perfect, mm -hmm. so that God can, can impart in us. Yeah. And we need to now understand and know who God is yeah. so that we can be separated. Yeah. Amen. Because this is the hour that we're living in. It's a remnant age. It's the time of the remnant. So he's seeking for people who will not soil their garments, mm -hmm. who will, who are sure to say, you know what? I want to serve God in spirit and in truth. Yeah. It's time that the, he's saying in this season, humanity needs to come under the guidance yes. and, 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 and submit and learn so that they can be good steward as God is ready to launch his people out yeah. that will be the evangelist because right now it's really no time for the four walls yeah. it's time to go tell the people yeah. that jesus christ is lord yeah it's no time for the four walls yeah. it's time to say you know what jesus christ is lord go to that go i believe this is a great teacher move to that go to that place they teach very well i believe that this pastor will be the will will be who god because the bible said you must look for a place with my name on it name and on there it. you must go and be taught yeah yeah and learn the things of god my yeah. god glory yeah. to god yeah. and, and it's and it's important too that you know while god is doing this you don't lose hope and you don't lose heart but you understand the heart of, of God. God, you know, because it is a trying time that we're living in and it's not a time to lose heart, heart or to lose hope. It's really a time when the Bible says, when you see these things, look up, look up for redemption, draw it now. Mm -hmm. and it. Yes. And it's time to say, you know what, Lord, now I am redirecting my attention, my passion my zeal on God, not losing hope, not feeling like, oh my God, it's too much. I can't handle all of this. It's too much of that. No, it's time to redirect mm -hmm. because once you are focused, you know, Peter saw his greatest miracle amongst a contrary spirit. Among a contrary spirit. Yeah, his greatest miracle. His greatest While he was miracle in prison. On a, and not only in prison, 
but even while he was in the boat. And he, the Bible says there was a contrary, contrary wind. spirit, yes, which is the wind. Which is a spirit. My and he says God. To him, Walk, come. You would think it would be a hard time to come because I'm dealing, it's a storm. And this storm is not holy. This is an unrighteous storm because it was a contrary wind. But in the middle of the contrary wind, in the middle of the hardest time, Peter walked on water. You know, and that is the truth because it, Pastor Cecile said it's time for intimacy with God. Yes. Yes, yes. It is. It's not it's, time to lose hope and give up and feel overwhelmed. No. It's time to draw near. Because the controversy will come. Yes. But you've got to understand that's yes. the time you must look to yes. Christ. Because this is the time of the greatest miracles. This is the time of the greatest miracles. Mm -hmm. But we, the miracle workers... Mm -hmm. cannot lose heart right because if the miracle workers have lost heart then what shall the unrighteous Just do where is the hope of the unrighteous if the righteous are barely making it and that's why the righteous has to yeah. turn their affection you know the songwriter said turn your eyes upon jesus and look full and look full in his wonderful face and, and the, the things, things of this world will go strangely dim my god in the light of his glory so you won't even feel the effects of what's going on in our world because you'll be so caught up and you'll be so consumed with your master my god mm -hmm. nobody wants to submit anymore as soon as they get an elevation all of a sudden you can't say nothing to them the spirit of agar now take them over but need to know your place, Hagar, not because you had an, the opportunity to get close enough to Abraham and got pregnant. Doesn't mean you have arrived. Go and submit yourself to your head. I was dealing with some uh, my ministers about this topic tonight. I am blessed. God bless you. Thank God. Thank God that you have received your blessing, woman of God. Thank God. Amen. Con Pastor Cecil, confirmation. Just over the weekend, God says that his people should not lose hope. Yeah, can't Amen. Hope. We thank God for that tonight as we give thanks to pa Pastor Mo. Oh, my God, that was amazing. Awesome. Amen. God just know what he wanted to do. Wanted to say glory to God. And I thank God for all of you tonight. The scripture is already given. One and two minutes. Scripture is already given. So guess what? My God, we're just going to pray you out. And I know you all understand what God has been saying and answered. Many of your questions have been answered. If your questions were answered, if you feel, if tonight you receive the blessing from the Lord, clarity, uh, um, insight. I would like for you to give us some thumbs up, some hearts. I wanted to say, I receive my blessing. I receive my clarity. I receive. I don't know what you receive tonight. Glory to God. But I thank God tonight. Thank you, um, man of God. Um, I think you're all the way from India. India. Amen. God bless you. We pray for your ministry in India and we thank God. Glory to God. But tonight is a night where God is saying, get uh, intimate with God and do not lose hope because it's a time of great tribulation and great testing. So have faith in God and nothing what you see, nothing what you know. Knowledge is power. You have received lots of knowledge tonight. Don't be puffed up. Go and submit. Go and serve the Lord with gladness. Go and serve the Lord with understanding and know that God is uh, able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask, imagine, or think. Thank God for Pastor Mo tonight. Come on. Give her some. Give me some. Give her some. Give her hand. Amen. This woman of God is full of knowledge. Let Thank me you tell guys. you something. Um, Pastor Mo, before, when she came home and she was talking about, then she had a dream. She was in her room for months, and I would. She would ask me the next book. What next book? I said Romans. Mm -hmm. When we finished Romans, well, she said what next book, and she had to explain everything. Mm -hmm. Then I said, the hardest book she read, and she went through was um, was Jeremiah. Jeremiah, and she said, "My God, Jeremiah is so Jeremiah is so hard, Mom." 
and I said, well, that's how ministry is hard. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you have to be tough. And as he said, set your face as a flint. Amen. Gird up your loins and know that nothing can shake you because you know you have the, the power of life and death in your mouth. Tonight, we thank God as you love on her and we thank God for you. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless you and we give you praise. Father, this woman of God asks for clarity. Yes, Amen. She asks for prayer. Uh, for what she's doing and what she will do and what she needs to get done. Father, thank you for the spirit of guidance and submission. Uh, lowly heart, yes. oh God, humility, the mind of Christ. We yes. thank you tonight, Father, that tonight, God, for your glory, uh, have your way in them. For your glory, yes. Lord God, so that you, are, you will be glorified. God, there's so many, Lord God, spirit that has crept upon you in your people that is leading them astray. But tonight, yes. in the name of Jesus, the spirit, my God, that would, oh God, lost and have, ah, uh, God Almighty, pride. Oh God, but you said to Lucifer, where, how comes your love pride, my God, to be born in your heart tonight? Oh God, I pray that your pride will not be born in any of our hearts, but we got come in total submission. Father, we honor you tonight. We give you praise. We hey, give God. you glory. We give you honor. I pray that as you, as we come in midnight cry, we'll cry out to the Lord and uh, God with a humble heart and saying, Lord, save me. Lord, heal, deliver me, set me free. Teach me how to humble, cry out to God go to God with a sincere uh, lowly heart he said a contrite heart he will not despise yes. and as you cry out to God love on God become intimate with hey, God yes. and let the spirit of God uh, mold you cover you keep you uh, Jesus guide you yes. Lord God you will hear his voice that makes a difference may his voice speak to you now may your his voice now declare you righteous may declare you ready may declare you wait may declare but make sure you know lord whatever it takes for my will to break that's what i'm willing to do i will trade sunshine for rain comfort for pain lord that's what i'm willing to to do oh, glory to God. God. May your spirit move tonight. Yes, May your God. spirit deliver. May your spirit, oh God. Ah, shakatole be shanda. Quicken the spirit of your people. Quicken their mortal beat. Oh God, I thank you, God. No more stress. Ah, oh God, dear God, your faith is in you. Ah, oh, tear away the stony heart, Lord Jesus. Hear the cry of your people. As you lift up your hands right now, right where you are, lift up your hands. Glory to God. If you were laying down, get up and just give God glory. Ah, uh, something is going to be imparted in you tonight. Waleibo ko shanda baya. Reba baba bo sheka di kunana na maseke robo ko shakatai leganda mushakata raba basikete robo ko shanda rabaya ruba baba baseka yanda rabaya ushekatai ida da 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 bo shata sunga megade shekai whoa somebody's gonna hear the lord rebe be ko sata clearly right now man de bo shata somebody gonna hear the lord tonight clear somebody's gonna become undabasata they're gonna receive understanding my god they cause i hear god said somebody is gonna get clarity right now right now yes lord i hear you somebody right now receiving clarity in the name of jesus usama sugada bo shatai sunga namaseke legada shuda bahai lega namo and in the midst of oh god a contrary wind Lord Jesus, you will see my God and hear God and you will not, oh God, be distracted and fall away. Glory to God. Tonight, oh God, yes, there's somebody that was, ah, oh God, my God, saying, I can't make it. I don't know. My God, I'm tired. I'm fed up. I, I'm frustrated. But God is saying tonight, oh, glory, glory to God. Oh, keep holding on. I'm praying for you. We're praying for your strength. We're praying for you tonight. Yes, mm. 
Ishatai. If God has spoken anything to your heart, Pastor, speak Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Mm. Speak to your people, Holy Ghost. It is just time to be ready for the outpouring. It is time to be ready for the outpouring. It is time to be ready for the release. It is time to be ready to receive what is in the heart and the mind of God. God is saying, lift up your head, O mm, ye gate, my God. and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, for the King of glory. Yes, God, God is getting ready to manifest in a way like he has not manifested, and that is why he has been speaking so sternly. This is why he has been setting his house in order. Mm. Jesus. For you cannot put old wine or a new wine into old wine skin. And so God is saying, I've got to put new wine. I want to put new wine. He wants to release the new, the newness, the new gifts, the new manifestation, the newness that is going to happen even in this year. He wants to release, but he's saying we have to get our houses in order. So lift up your heads and be ready. Yes, God. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Do not be cast down, <clears throat> but be lifted up in readiness. Jesus. Do not be cast down, but lift up your heads, O ye gates. Do not be cast down, Jesus. but lift up your head. No matter lift what you your feel head. in your body, mm. no matter what you feel in your heart, no matter what Jesus. happened on your job, no matter what happened in your relationship, Jesus. keep your head lifted up for so shall Jesus. my head be lifted up round about oh, my, he my enemies. God is lifting your head. And God is saying, keep your head lifted Jesus. for I am elevating. I'm doing greater things in this hour, but my, I need my house. I need Woo! my house. I need a house that I can <clears throat> settle and put my throne there and put my throne there and build my kingdom again. Oh, yes, speak, Holy Spirit of God. So be lifted in your mind, in your heart, and in your spirit, and let the weights that Jesus. are resting on your chest, resting on your hearts, resting on your minds, let those weights be lifted off lifted of you. And it's not going to come in the solution that is going to come from what you think, for what you need. It's not a natural solution, but you right. need a spiritual revitalization. A and even to that young lady Krishana, God said, What you need is not natural. God said, What you need is in the spirit, it's what you've been running from. It's what you've been running from. God said, It's what you've been running from, daughter. That's what you need because when you align, God says, The door is going to be open. And God says, stop running from my presence. Stop running from what I need from thee. For I will release. But God says, you got to stop running. You got to stop running. You got to stop running. Thank you, Lord. Be lifted up. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. God. If we only lift up the name of Jesus Christ, if we only lift him up in our hearts, in our minds, if we only lift him up, lift him up in our wills. If we only lift him up, then we will hey see. God. Yes, God. Then we will know. Yes, God. So things will begin to happen supernaturally. Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. The things that you're worried about, so worried, then it would be lifted. Yes, the burden sir. would be, the, the heavy weight on your, your chest and up on your shoulder would be lifted. The weight of this world yes, would be God. lifted off you. You would see like Isaiah saw. 
high and lifted up. You'll see Christ. The things would, oh God, everything would die around you except, oh Kobasa. You then would see, my God, the revelation of who God is and who you are and what's missing in and in my God, missing in you, missing around you. You are, Your eyes will be open. Lord oh, God. God, says the Lord Almighty. Your oh, eyes will be open. Your ears will be attentive, says the Lord. You will be in a situation, but you will be, my God, you will be contented. Ah, oh, the storms hey, will be blowing, but you will still know that he is a deliverer. He is a protector. My God, tonight, the Lord said, hallelujah. Hey, God. Hey, God. God, if you only become intimate, hey, oh, God, I want the, I want to restore. The, I want the, back the relationship that I started. I want you to go back to your first love. Said the Lord. The Lord said it's a it's your first love. I need your first love. That's all I'm craving for. For you to go back to your first love in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God wants us to get back to our first love. My God. Where you'll see great and mighty things happening. All I crave for is for my people to get back to the beginning where the love, oh God, where love began. Where before you, man, before the spirit of deception came in. Get back to the love of fear you once knew, you once had, as Jesus was talking to the church get back to your first love god oh god from genesis to revelation he's crying out i want back my relationship with you get back get back say the lord where you seek only god and his righteousness and all things will be granted unto you say the lord of hosts no demonic forces will overpower you no principalities nor powers will gain oh my god access to you my god but tonight if you'd only get back say the lord glory to god glory to god you'll see my mighty hand at work ah yes. uh, in your life said the lord makale go shatter the things that you think was impossible would become possible yes. say it, the lord yes. hallelujah yes. if you only would come into submission come into going back to your first love going back to knowing who Christ is, getting back intimate with God. While Paul and Silas was in prison, my God, because they had an intimate relationship. Yes, ah, nothing mattered. My God, they were released. The angels of God came down and released them. Get back your intimacy Aya. with God. Hallelujah. Ah, many of us are looking, I say oh, we are lonely and we are, my God, and we want husbands and wives. Nothing is wrong with that but get back your relationship with God and let them find you in him glory to God hallelujah hey God, glory to God hallelujah and you will not settle for anything less you will not settle my God for the uh, for the compromise you will know that God uh, Jesus this is all God you will have confidence that when you speak to God you will be assured that this will uh, this will happen for you and he said or he said wait and you will know but when you can't hear God you can't know what he's trying to say to you so right now say the Lord become intimate get back to your first love where you will find my God contentment for your souls in Jesus name Jesus. glory to God thank you God Glory to God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Renew yourself, said the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Renew your mind, renew your heart. Hey, Jesus. Many and most of you, are, you said you want ministry, but it's time. Ministry is first getting to know Him. Yes. Glory to God. Ministry is about learning Him. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah, and not wanting to see humanity goes uh, into hell to perish. Yeah. That's ministry first. Yeah. Glory yeah. be to God. Thank you, so God. I thank God tonight for every one of you uh, that are on under the sound of our voice. Pastor Mo, glory to God. 
Hallelujah. You're a magnificent man. I give God glory for you. Amen. Praise God. She ever ever when she was at church, listen. It, it no matter what you say, Pastor Mo, I'll do it. Glory <laughs> to God. Yeah. Then everybody shine and we said, Well, and nobody wanna do it. Okay. And God elevates. So what when you hear, you learn from those yes, that have yes. been taught. Yes. And go through their process. Yes. 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 So I thank God tonight. Renew your mind and let the glory of the Lord upgrade rest upon you. Is there any last word, Prophet? No, no last words. Just may the Lord continue to bless you. Have a wonderful day, I guess, uh, today, because it's 1 a.m. You have a wonderful day. Let the peace of the Lord be with you. Be strong in the Lord and of his power, the power of his might, and do not lose hope. The year is not over yet. There are yet still things and great things that God is getting ready to do. Mm -hmm. Love you all. Good night. Good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow.